Hey Collective, this is Spiritual Goddess. How y'all doing? How y'all been? Thank you for your love and support. Thanks for sticking by me. Thank you for everything. Shoot, y'all are 100 for real. Y'all are solid individuals. And thank you to the ones that are just newly subscribing. Um, first and foremost, I would like to let y'all know, again, I only do readings when I am spiritually aligned, when I have nothing personal that will have any malicious intentions or anything negative impact onto readings for you all so i will always come to you all 100 percent, so that nothing that i'm going on going through personal will be will be projected in the readings so i hope you all understand that i hope you all can appreciate that um, and again let's just see who needs a message and already leo what's going on leo Let's see what you guys got going on. Everything has been pre-shuffled. I'm going to get a shuffle on camera for you all. I only take jumpers. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't. And thank you for your support. Spy. So you got Spy coming in reverse. Someone's got their eye on you. You are doing your research. So maybe this Spy energy finally is done maybe someone finally got the message left, but they come in reverse maybe someone has finally stopped effing with you <laughs> fudging with you what you talking about all right what else all right moving so there is a change of residence moving in with your partner um so possibly the person that you were with um, you have broke up with this person, you all are separated, and they have officially got it, like they're done, the social media stalking you to 11 on the time. This person has been definitely um, going crazy. Mercury retrograde in reverse, so electronic issues, communication issues, reviewing, review everything. So this Mercury retrograde that was here i think it ended like october 14th um yeah yeah you're not having any issues anymore you're not having um no more communication issues it's clear you're getting a fresh start that's what it feels like that's what it seems like um you over the petty shit the bullshit and it's like everything around you is now falling back into place, Leo. And you're starting to feel like you can take a breath of fresh air. Look at this. Recklessness, fearlessness, and taking risks with the full card. What did I just say? At zero. At zero. You're starting to feel the new beginnings. You're starting to step out on faith again. Like, it's new beginnings, new ideas, new energetic thoughts. Like, you on a new wave. People ain't fucking with you right now, Leo. It's like, it's a clarity. It's 2020 right now. People aren't fucking with you right now. Um, no one from your past is is at the level of, you're, you're, you're on a different level right now. No one from your past is fucking with you. Um, and the people that, that you're coming towards in your, in your future, in your future, um, better be ready for you. You have released all pains. You're standing in all pain. All, yeah, you have released all pains. You're forgiving. You're positive. You're optimistic. You are a natural leader. You're standing in your shit right now. Oh, this is really good. You are, it's like a new wave of emotion. Like, this is like, you could have been, I'm getting like, you could have been as, at, at like a hundred, a thousand yesterday on a million emotionally, everything felt like everything was going wrong. And today you woke up and said, you know what? I choose God. I choose higher power. And I put it in his hands and I'm going to just push through and I'm going to take a risk on me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to believe that every step that I take is being ordered by the most high. 444 on the time I just seen. And it's like unexpected changes have happened to you. And all you are doing right now is being focused. 
over optimistic like that's here twice you are being clear you setting these boundaries you ain't playing with you any shit that don't serve you no more it's like it's like a night and day situation it's like you go from being like this and then like a whole different person overnight literally overnight you're a whole different person um, and people can't handle it. They can't handle this. The people that you are moving away from can't handle this new you. This family dynamic can't handle this new you. You're like trying to, you're, you're creating solid foundations. Everything that you once believed, everything that you once were doing, five, five on the timer, you have changed. The cycle has ended. Again, this shit, all this toxicity shit, you have released. Falling under the three of swords, you released all that toxic, the secrets, the bondages, feeling hell, the karmic relations, trauma bonding. That shit is gone. And this shit could have came from a queen of pentacles. I mean, ooh. Okay, you could also have a queen of pentacles with the lovers falling. So you could have two lovers, Leo, or you just the player, Leo. It could be two people. Um, but... The Queen of Swords falling under the King of Wands. Mind you, flip the switch the energies. This could be male or masculine. Um, take it how it resonates. But you are in the King of Wands energy, Leo. You are standing strong, fearless, courageous, um, letting spirit guide you. And there's a Queen of Swords who you could possibly be moving on from, who you are at a disconnect from, who you possibly once thought was your divine counterpart but you put an end into that shit and went into hermit mode and saw through it oh wow saw through this could be yeah saw through the illusions yeah this person with 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 releasing um no, with the releasing the three of swords and the devil card and the moon card falling right underneath that you have ended major fucking cycles Leo, I kid you not. With this moon and devil card right here, this person spiritually attacked you, um, did spell work over you, like over your mental state. This was about your mind. Yeah, this shit, this this mental blockage that you have was all over how you move, how you make decisions, what you um, indulged in. This person wanted to control every aspect of your life in that manner. You surrendered. You surrendered. You did some soul searching. You found out why. Why am I sitting here dealing with someone who's clearly toxic, clearly isn't good for me, you have to ask yourself those hard ass whys. I'm telling you, when you have to sit there and face yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, why do I keep allowing people to do me like this? And then you ask yourself, so you don't care about you? You have to get down, 844, you have to get down, strip everything. Get down to the bottom of it. Ask yourself, why am I allowing people to treat me like this? I don't think I'm worthy enough. Do I not feel worthy enough? Those are hard questions that you need to ask yourself to bring back the balance, to escape this shit, this, 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 this toxic moon devil energy. This queen of swords really tried to cause chaos in your life. Try call try to tear your house down, your community. This person could have possibly went and told lies to your friends and family about this move, about you moving on or, or why you decided to move on. Because this could I'm telling you, this could have been some overnight, some spontaneous ass shit. You went from in a relationship to waking up, you know what? Mm -mm, this ain't it. Can't do this no more. I've been sitting here. I can't do this. It's not clicking. The math ain't math. And I can't do this no more with, with you. And you got up out of there. 
this could be something just that fast and cutthroat. And this person has went around and told a bunch of shit, but you don't even give a fuck. You pass that. Um, it's like you don't even hear it, hear the noise. Look, look, letting go of the past. You have a divine partnership, new beginnings coming towards you, Leo. It's like I can't, I can't keep, I can't look in the past. I can't keep looking in the rear when I got my whole future. You're never gonna see what's ahead of you if you're looking in the rear. Never. You'll never see it. You'll crash out. And the person you love is mad. Because all that little magic they did didn't work. Literally nine days ago. Something regarding nine days ago. What is today? We are on the... What the hell is today? The 23rd? On the 14th. Something possibly. On the 14th. Someone um, was just doing magic. And it didn't work. Something around the 14th. This person is overloading themselves with trying to stop this divine partnership. They're burdening themselves. They're good. They good. They about to explode all this damn pressure building up in them. Where is Leo at? Trying to stop somebody from going where the hell they going. Get to where you going. 1133. Stay on damn lane. See, this is where you trying to get to. Leo trying to get to the bag. And I don't blame you. Get to the fucking bag. People just gonna be mad, unsatisfied, and they ain't got nothing to do with you. That's their... People gotta understand that if things keep happening to you, keep happening, keep happening, keep happening, keep happening, keep happening, keep happening that means you obviously haven't learned from the first time it happened. So, if... This person, <clears throat> excuse me, trying to stop me from talking, this Queen of Swords energy has constantly been in these relationships where they, they haven't gotten anywhere and they resort to magic to keep their person once their person starts to wake the hell up. Once their divine intuition, <laughs> their intuition wakes the hell up, their third eye wakes the hell up, they put so much pressure and... um. They do so much moon ma magic, spell work to stop this person. But it don't do nothing but cause it's a tower. Because guess what? This person is still going because there's unexpected changes that's going to happen. Because all you have done is push this person towards alignment. That's all this Queen of Swords has done for this King of Wands energy. Has pushed you for further and further more towards alignment. Further and further towards the person who... They know you should be with. And now this is where they're at. And this is where you're going, Leo. Continue to move on and manifest new beginnings. Because whoever this person is, is going through a lot of karma. You have, I'm hearing you have, the road is clear. There's no blockages. Do what you need to do to get to this divine partnership. Be assertive <laughs> and don't play no games with nobody who's trying to take you off track, Leo. So I hope this message helps you. I hope this gives you insight and some clarity um, as to how as to moving forward in the future. Remember, you can't see what's ahead of you if you're looking behind you. So I hope this message helps you. Namaste.